All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here's what we're going to do. I want to just look real quick at one final thing. Um, we're going to talk more about taxes and subsidies a little bit later, but um, let's just take a second. We're going to remember this is a profit maximizing uh, monopoly, so we're going MC equals MR. That's our price right there, and our quantity is 8. Now, we talked about socially optimal. What is the socially optimal level? Because we talked about how this area here is dead weight in an earlier uh video and so if we eliminate dead weight loss we come out here to where MC equals D and notice the output has gone up uh, to 10 and so we eliminate the dead weight loss and we get a higher uh, output so we produce where um, the marginal uh, cost here are covering the price or the price that people are willing to pay the demand for this product uh, covers the individual costs associated with producing it now, if we wanted the government to do something here, should we tax or should we subsidize uh, this monopoly? Well, if we wanted to produce more, we should probably have a subsidy here. So, uh, and it's not just any subsidy, it would be a per unit subsidy uh, that would uh, increase uh, this monopoly's production. All right, um, and, and not a tax. Uh, I'm not going to say too much other about this right now, about why it's a per unit subsidy um, versus a lump sum subsidy. But for right now, just trust Mr. Sutton uh, that it is a per unit subsidy. So if the government provided some assistance, we could get this monopoly to produce more, um, and they would do that. Uh, so that's just what I want to tell you, uh, something to think about. So if you want to increase productivity or production, I should say, uh, you should subsidize something. If you want to diminish the output, you should tax it. And per unit does best. We'll talk more about that when we get to taxation later. All right, good luck. Bye.